Hello there and welcome back. This is going to be a different kind of video than what you may have gotten used to in my uh, Python series. So this time I'm going to show you some really fun stuff in PowerShell. So the basic idea from me was to somehow uh, read out loud a specific text or text file in PowerShell and I was looking for a way to implement this and uh, I'm going to show you what I have found and uh, add some additional information about playing with this stuff. <coughs> so what we want to do is create our uh, speech.ps1 and uh, here we will add the type called uh, assembly name system dot speech okay then we should install package cool and with this we want to have powershell support and now I'm going to be able to set the syntax to PowerShell. So we have added our uh, assembly and now what we need to do is create the speaker variable and here we will have a new object from the system that speech that synthesis dot speech synthesis and now if we want we can try to select the voice but by default you may not know what kind of uh, voice you have so Synthesis, speech, synthesizer. Okay, let me copy this one because the first one is obviously wrong. Cool. So what we can do here is call the get member function on that object and here we will be able to find the methods and the properties and the events that are associated with our object. From the methods we may want to get call the get installed voices so speak get installed voices and here if we check the first voice or that one and we call the get member we will have the voice info property so the voice info property will hold the name of our language that we can speak with in powershell by default so we have this david and we have this zira desktop so let's pick the zero desktop. So speaker dot select voice <coughs> and we will call it zero desktop. And after that we have selected our voice. We can uh, let's say do some rate. So the speaker dot rate and it should be equal to a number between 0 and 10. 0 is the slowest, 10 is the fastest. So we select 0, that is the, let's say, lowest, slowest, or oh, let's select 5. So once the 5 is selected, we should call the speaker that set output to wave 5. And here we specify the name of the file that we want to use. 
So my talk dot windows video audio. And after that we can call uh, create our text to speak and this should be the say something nice for me <clears throat> and we could call the speaker that speak with the text to speak and afterwards we could call the speaker that dispose and uh, if I have done correctly what I wanted to do we should see that it has the speak method that is going to be responsible for talking in the selected voice and uh, under this pose we will clean up the speaker object and uh, we have set it uh, to save the text to that audio file and now if I call the speech it says it cannot be loaded because loading of scripts is disabled on this system so we should call the set execution policy and it should be remote sign or unrestricted dependent on your choice <coughs> but let me run it as an administrator so now if I do it again and select all it should be able to select the language, uh, set the execution policy and if we clear the host and run the script again it should let's say save this in the WAV file and now I am not seeing any okay so let's create a path for file and this is going to be the join path let's do it join path path is the end user profile and we should use we should use the child path which is going to be specified as desktop slash youtube slash ps speech slash and my dot dot world. and as you can see it gave me back a nice pass it is going to be let's say username independent and this should be the location we save it and if I say speech once again you can see that this my talk that windows audio format file was there and if I go to my folder and run this file let's call it with windows media player say something nice for me as you can hear say something nice for me it was successfully playing that something nice so the other thing that we may be able to do in this case is to investigate further the object and select what we want to let's say set as you can see we could set the volume set the voice set the state set the rate and uh, well basically 
this is uh, kind of what I wanted to show you. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Thank you for watching.